Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to Mac in VR's E3 special. Let's get straight into it then. And remember, we're born to respawn. So E3 happened over the weekend and I stayed up late to watch the Upload VR showcase. So I'm going to talk about nine games that got me really excited. And then I'm going to talk about three indie games that piqued my interest. And then I'm also going to talk about three honorable mentions, games I've already talked about on this channel, but I think they need talking about again. Are you ready? Let's get straight into it then. Watch your line, but keep it fast. Ooh, ah, shit. Being painful, shot to pieces here. Fract from End Dreams has beautiful, colourful, cel-shaded graphics, which reminded me of Ubisoft's iconic FPS 13. It has heavily scripted action sequences, which look like a great deal of fun. This is a PSVR exclusive, so I'm not sure if it will get ported to PC or Oculus VR anytime soon. Though End Dreams were behind the excellent Phantom Covert Ops, one of my games of 2020, which also released onto Oculus Rift, Quest and PC VR. Reality keeps expanding. This is natural magic, and it is yours to control. But be careful. This reality is not ours alone. The humans have discovered a way into the fortress. Pitiful creatures. They... Gesture-based magic em up Waltz of the Wizard is getting a new expansion called Natural Magic. The expansion looks very much like a roguelike dungeon crawler full of enemies, exploration and boss fights. Might have to slip the old wizard's sleeve on and fire this up again. Releasing on July the 6th for Steam and Oculus VR. This is at its core uh, a survival adventure game. It's a game about a person's journey through kind of a very vast, um, wild landscape, a lot of danger, a lot of beauty, very somber game. It's kind of different than what we do at 17-bit normally. Uh, we're known for kind of cartoony, goofy, fun stuff. This game is a very different direction, um, but it's been a fantastic project. It's really, uh, you know, when I first experienced VR, I was immediately completely floored. I mean, I was in tears almost at how incredible the experience is. I mean, it's not a game anymore. It's a, it's a world that you are inside of. And when I started thinking about what I would like to do, I thought about creating a world. I mean, creating a, a living, breathing world, which you hear all the time, but for the first time, it wouldn't be just a game. You would be in this. Song in the Smoke has a tentative release date of summer 2021 for Rift, Quest and PSVR. New rhythm action slasher shoot 'em up called Against by developer Joyway looks like Pistol Whip and Sirento got jiggy with it and had a hell baby. Details are thin on the ground, but it is promised to release in summer 2021.
air guitar sim unplugged looks like every wannabe rock star's wet dream and no plastic guitar just hand tracking so i hope this works well because i'm famous for my rock band rendition of living on a prayer by bon jovi this has a tentative release date of fall 2021 so rock on Hey, Max, how many times have we had to bust out of some criminal cheeseball's lair? This week or in Toto. You'll be locked into a room and must use your wits to obtain egress. You know, you could just say it's an escape room. Just go on in. We've locked you here at the park's old security center and hidden clues all over the place. The goal is to find the three hidden keys. You'll be judged on how fast you escape and also on your evening gown. The three keys will be hidden within three deceptively innocent receptacles. What the puppy? Or great up Sam and Max, this time it's virtual from developers Happy Giant, is an escape room in VR with a comedy provided by the titular Sam and Max in a hilarious commentary. Releases this summer for all major VR platforms. Pistol Whip by Cloudhead Games gets a new style system which gives you, the player, the chance to mod the game to your own unique style. Pistol Whip is one of my all time favourite VR games and I've done a ton of content on it. Check out the playlist here. Releasing this summer alongside the brand new Smoke and Thunder cinematic campaign. Looks like you've hit the jackpot with another relaxing mission. And while you'll need to go undercover, and make use of our latest disguise technology, you'll also enjoy traveling in style to luxurious locales. Of course, the agency will provide a well-balanced meal plan and a strict health regimen to keep you in shape. But you will be able to enjoy the finer things now and again. Speaking of which, you'll be meeting my favorite actor. We've all seen him on the big screen and the red carpet. Please help me welcome Mr. John Juniper. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. You always get the best missions, but after all the brilliant work you've done, you deserve... I Expect You to Die Too by Shell continues the manic, James Bond-esque escape room-like vibe from the previous game and releases this summer for all major VR platforms. I'm glad we came back here. I feel you. The place is beautiful. So if you enjoyed The Forest, which I know my pal Surgical Gaming from Twitch TV did, you should enjoy this, with a very vague, coming soon to Oculus and Steam VR. Samurai Showdown has a very Frank Miller feel to it. Think 
300 meets Samurai Showdown, and you won't be far off. Smash Drums is basically Beat Saber with drums. You don't need to know any more than that. Slot those basketballs into the hoops using just your hands in this excellent hand tracking basketball simulation. I have covered last night in this video here, but at E3, the devs in Pulse Gear revealed a special intro to the brawler character, Bod and also a future roadmap for the game which releases on the 17th of June. Keep an eye on the channel as myself, Face and Twitch streamer Surgical Gaming will be teaming up for a live stream on launch day. This is releasing on all major VR platforms. After the fall is all about a VR co-op experience with four people and replayability. We want you to continuously play with your friends and go in over and over to just kick ass with your friends and fight really cool enemies. Even after the fall, we have a uh, game director system, uh, which basically means that every session that you play is different every time you play it. For example, you can have a, a huge horde of snow breeze coming at you, or you can have multiple stronger. Very, very excited for this. Can't wait to jump in with my pals and kill some zombies in four-player co-op crossplay, coming this summer to all major VR platforms. More details from Rebellion's soon to be released Sniper Elite with a quick snippet of the X-ray kill cam in VR. Looks so cool, can't wait to shoot Hitler in the dick. So which games have piqued your interest? Last not? Sniper Elite VR. Are you more interested in the indie games like Smash Drums or Samurai Slaughterhouse? That one looks really good. You know the drill. Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button. The algorithm loves the likes and maybe do all the other stuff that's popping up around me now. You can support the channel further on Patreon or by buying some of my stylish merchandise at t-shirtstudio.com. I also stream once a week, so keep an eye on the community page of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. So we make sure automatically that they are in parity with each other. Everybody playing together and shooting zombies together, that is like our, our core, the core experience we're trying to create.